reviewing some basic uh, science here, I'd like to talk about um, biology and um, some of the amazing um, aspects to biology and things that should be considered when um, about biology when it comes to uh, growing crops. I think the, the most important um, thing to keep somewhere in your short-term, long-term memory, back of your mind, around the corner, is that there are, it's assumed that there are somewhere in the order of four and a half million different species of soil life. Um, all the microbiologists in all the countries and all the years they've been studying them have identified something like three to five percent of those species, which means that between 95 and 97 percent of all of the bacteria and fungi that live in the soil have not even been named yet, much less studied and understood. So the soil environment is really um, rampant and full of life and we really have almost no understanding of what's going on down there. We don't know who they are, we don't know what exactly they're doing, but we know there's a whole bunch of them and they seem to have a very sophisticated, interrelated, networked, symbiotic system going on. So I like to just keep that somewhere um, in the memory or the awareness that this is really a, a full ecosystem, an amazing different com community, um, and it's, it's a living system. And just because we don't see them, we don't understand they're there, um, doesn't mean they're not there. And, and critically, um, in the same way that we understand that it's important to have a healthy gut, to have good bacteria in our gut, um, for us to be healthy, it is absolutely critical that the plants have good bacteria in their guts for them to be healthy. And their guts are again uh, in contact with the root surface and the root hairs and also living on the leaf surface.